Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video we're going to be talking about how to use AnyViewer Remote Desktop. So this one is a very basic and uh, simple to use, also with a simple interface application to control the other computers over the network and uh, possibly use them. So this one allows to control other person's PC, just like uh, other people can control your PC as well. So I will just show you the interface and the basic functions and then we will connect and I will actually show you what it looks like to connect to someone else's PC. I've got a uh, person that can help me with that today. So anyway, as you can see, everything is very straightforward. We have accept control, which is basically going to be other person connecting to our PC and controlling it. And start control is when we connect to someone else's PC. So very straightforward and simple. And in order to connect, we use this device ID. So this device ID will be used by the other person that will uh, control my PC. And in order for you to control someone else's PC, you will need this same device ID from that other person, uh, which uh, computer you will be able to control. And you basically copy it. You insert the partner ID in here, in this field in here, press connect. And the other features is you can also do a mobile screen mirroring, screen wall. Also in the settings, we have important features like you can allow logged in devices to connect with one click. Also, you can set up a security code for more privacy and security. Recipient, you can allow or disallow the remote control. Also, we have our quality settings, so you can uh, set the image quality to basically any quality you want. So the high speed is going to be the lowest bit rate and the image is going to be worse, but you will use less bandwidth. And of course you can use the ultra high quality. This will use more of your internet traffic, but will make sure that your image of the other person's PC screen will be as good as possible. You also have shortcuts that you can set up. And these are basically the most important features. Also, we have a thing called file transfer in this application as well. This one will be used to transfer any files that you want. So instead of controlling the PC, you will be able to transfer any files you want. But for now, in this video, let's start a remote control of other PC. So let me just uh, grab the device ID and I will start. All right, guys. So now from here, I already have the code of my partner. So I'll just uh, paste it into here. And as you can see, we also have a temporary security code that you can also share with your recipient, with your other partner, to basically use it for better security. So let's press connect. Now you need to send the request to your partner so they approve that you're actually now going to be taking control of their computer. So press OK. All right, and now we're basically connected. As you can see, I am in my partner's PC. So we just have this uh, Chrome tab open. So I can just uh, control their PC now. For example, let's type in New York weather. And as you can see, everything is working. This is my partner's PC and this is my PC and everything is set up and working correctly. And also guys, if you want to use uh, this AnyViewer application, and have the full functionality, I recommend buying the subscription, which I already have, by the way, the premium one, so that you don't lack any features and so that you can actually use this application to its fullest potential. We'll have a link in the description to the website if you want to sign up and buy one. And this is basically it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. Very simple and straightforward app to use if you want to control a remote PC. Thank you for watching. If this helped, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and I will see you in the next tutorial.